<laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Bobby Lopez here. What we're going to discuss today is the single length golf club. I want to give you the real scoop because you're going to hear all kinds of freaking propaganda about this. Everybody's going to be carrying on. Oh, this is the, uh, the what, what the hell is his name? Peugeot or Peugeot? Not Peugeot. Shampoo. That's it. Shampoo. Mm -hmm. Let me see shampoo. Is the guy that got this thing started. Or not really. There's a whole long story to this. Tommy Harper tried to do it once and it failed. Or what? I mean, it's nothing, you know. But I said, I got to try for myself and have a couple of my pals. Paul here tried. Um, and I was surprised. There are some, there, 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 there's something to this. There's a couple of advantages. Like anything in life, there's some advantages, some disadvantages. So you understand the difference. This is a six iron. This head right here weighs about 257 grams. Doesn't matter what what manufacturer it is. It's going to be somewhere in the ballpark. 257 grams. So you got 250 grams, 257 grams of metal on the end of a stick. If you take a five iron, it's going to be 250 grams. It's going to be seven grams less the weight of the head because the five iron is a half inch longer than the six iron. Gabish. So a half an inch is equal to seven grams, more or less. Mm -hmm. So each each club in the set is a half inch longer or shorter, and they weigh seven grams more or less. With the single length golf club, which by the way Larry Wilson said he's already got a set of those because it doesn't matter what club he hits, it still goes a hundred yards. <laughs> the single length, <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, the clubs are the same length. Here you got a six iron and a nine iron. And you can see the six irons longer than the nine iron. These are my clubs. Here the six iron and the nine iron are the same length. And the head weights are the same. Every one of the heads weighs what a seven iron would weigh, about 272 grams. Is about standard. So all the heads weigh 272. They don't weigh different weights like in a traditional set. So that's why they're all the same length, because they have to be the same length. So they all weigh the same. Now, I noticed one other thing that was pretty neat. You take my nine iron and you see how a nine iron, which is why you move the ball back in your stance, the golf club is accommodating a steeper angle of attack because this club is going to travel on a steeper plane than this one. See, you're going to look at the top like this, right? So the ball's further back in the stance. You take the nine iron here and look, it's straight. It's not like this. Sort of just like the six iron. So, you don't have to change the ball in your stance. You only need one stance. And the ball stays in the same place every time. And the sole of the club, because that was my big question, the sole of the club is built and accommodated for having the same path every time. So I found that to be a Now, here's the hidden, the hidden thing that I didn't know that I sort of figured out from watching a couple of the guys hit it. Your chances of hitting the center gravity of the golf club are better. Because I think one of the reasons why some guys might be able to get it real close with an 8-iron, they get it into the center of gravity, it's a shorter club, now they got to hit a 4-iron, and that's more why they probably go to a hybrid than anything else, is because it's got less loft and it's longer. Well, now your 4-iron would be the same length. But then, if you read up on these things, you're going to hear people complain that they can't hit the 4 or 5-iron as high in this set as they would in a traditional set. Well, I fixed that by changing how I cut the shaft. I ain't telling you what I did. <laughs> but anyway, we didn't have that problem, did we, Paul? No. Right. You hit the six iron, went up in the air. It was, nope. it was fine. So um, that's some of the advantages. And I can see where a kid starting out, if he starts out this way in the first place, he doesn't know anything else anyway. But I thought it was a real advantage. And I'll show you. I'm going to hit a couple shots. I didn't care. I didn't care about whether it went further or not. I could give a flying move. I've given up on that at my age anyway. <laughs> it, ain't happened. it ain't happened. See? But I'll play my nine iron here, and I'm also going to play my six iron. Oops, wrong six iron. In the same place. See? They're both the same length. So I don't have to change anything. I haven't hit any balls today. So I'm doing my warm up right on the spot. And I can tell you that the, the nine iron sort of jumped in the air a little better than my nine iron. If I take my nine iron and nine iron, I can't even talk, can I? Easy for you it's to say. It's freaking cold out here, in case you can't tell from the video. The ball, the 
ball jumps up in the air a little better, which I was surprised at. And then if I take the six iron, when I choked up a half an inch, it made a significant difference. At a half an inch, I could hit the ball straight and solid. Look at it. Straight at it. And I think the difference is, because these heads are 272 grams, if you have it too long, when you get to the top here, you can feel it doing this number up. Because you got more weight past you going this way. And when I choked up a half an inch, it wasn't as bad. See? And I hit it a heck of a lot straighter, choking up a half an inch. So, the length of the club when you get fitted for one of these is mucho importante. I'm left-handed, so he ignores me. Yeah, okay. I know. Mucho importante. -o. See, you want to speak Spanish, you just add an O. Now, is it a significant difference for me? I, I really don't know yet. I honestly can't tell you I don't know. I, I know one thing. The 8-9 and the wedge do do come off the face hotter than my regular set. Here's my regular six iron. Oops, I can't hang on to a freaking club. It's so cold and they get dry. And this grip you can't hang on to, but I'm gonna try. See? That six iron's not a heck of a lot higher than the single length one. Right there. Let me grab the single length. I gotta look at it because they're all the same length. You get you know what club you got. Sign of the devil, six six six. There you go. Maybe not lower. No, it's higher. And it went further. And further. That's the weird part. But like again, I, I wasn't I wasn't looking for that. And I don't know that the lofts are a little stronger on this club than they are mine because I still use blades, so that might be the reason. But anyway, and it's probably a little flat for me seeing what I'm seeing here. I need to bend that lie angle. But speaking of lie angles, the lie angles will all be the same. Hmm. Every one of the clubs, instead of having the lie angles like this, they're the same. So the path is the same every time. The ball position is the same every time. The weight of the club is the same every time. One isn't lighter than the other. They all weigh exactly the same. Back when I built this set, I took out six shafts that weighed identically the same. I measured out, I weighed six grips that were exactly the same. And the heads weren't all perfect. There were a couple of them that were 273, then there was 272, there was a 274. And I evened those up with a little bit of weight down in the neck of the golf club so they do it balance out perfectly so you actually have real twin brothers and twin sisters in this set of irons so um and of course i haven't hit it in graphite yet and i'm not a big fan of graphite anyway in irons so here's what we're going to do next i've ordered another set of heads and uh those should get here friday today is what wednesday the 22nd on Friday, I will put together another set with a different, a different head manufacturer and see the difference. We can try them both up against each other. Right now, I would say the verdict is it was worth buying another set of heads. I was that much interested and might have something here, especially for the average golfer that just makes it so much easier for him. He's only got one setup to learn. Now what I don't know, I'm going to find out today, is what do you do with the hybrids and what do you do with the woods? What length do you make those? But uh, it's pretty neat.